Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's where I need you all to put on your thinking caps and, and understand very clearly as to what I'm trying to share with you all here and explain to you all why and how that Israel was connected to the bomb blast inside of Boston and how that they staged this in, entire event that will help boost up the morale of supporting Israel and their agendas of attacking Syria and also attacking the Iranian government. It was also to help boost up the morale of, of support to help establishing a one world government. Do you remember I told you the master of this one world government is Israel. They're the ones trying to push for a one world government. If you all thought in your Bibles that Israel was God's chosen people trying to warn you of a new world government as a way of protecting you to keep this event from happening. But ladies and gentlemen, it's completely the opposite. It is actually Israel was disguising themselves as, as wolves in sheep's clothing and, sh and they were sitting there trying to tell everybody that they are forming the one world government. Now you're starting to see the real truth about Israel and how they were involved in 9-11. Remember, the truth will set you free. It will reveal itself when the lies are being exposed. Okay? You can tell a lie from the truth. You know that Sandy Hook was a fraud. You know that the uh, Aurora shootings was a fraud. You know it was an inside job. You knew that it you know, and I've proved this already time and time and time again. Now, this document here that I'm showing you, Boston bombings, will boost up U.S. support for Israel, says Netanyahu. This is on the main Jewish newspaper out of Israel that are bragging an Israeli government and the aides to, uh, to the uh, prime minister, of Net, uh, which his name is uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, are admitting that the bombings in a, this is what you call an omittance. You know, the, an omittance does not mean admittance with, uh, with a direct implication and just bravely just saying, hey, we admit it. They're admitting it by omittance, meaning that they are, they're saying it in their breath underneath their breath that they were involved. Now, it goes on to saying that now the United States government can now experience, and this is what it says in the article. You can read it to your heart's content. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I've got a lot of information to share with you all. It says that now the American people can experience what we experience on a daily basis when we are being invaded by these terrorist networks such as Palestinians and Lebanese uh, Hamas and Hezbollah. Okay, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, and the, yeah, the, uh, the Lebanese uh, Hezbollah. So this is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. Now you can see that they're lying. There's one thing I want to share with you all real quick. Is re Keep in mind, when has Al-Qaeda ever attacked Israel? You remember they said that Al-Qaeda was against Israel, Al-Qaeda this, Al-Qaeda that. Ladies and gentlemen, Al-Qaeda has never attacked Israel. There's never been any single report, not one report, that Al-Qaeda, bin Laden, and bin Laden's uh, group has ever attacked Israel on Israel's mainland. Isn't that amazing? That also shows you in proof in comparison that Israel and Al-Qaeda have been all alone working together. Al-Qaeda was Z the CIA and Israel's creation. That's why they don't attack their mother that you, why would you attack your own mother you cre that created you? You know, that's it's kind of logish, right? But nonetheless, there's proof in the pudding. All you have to do is just ask the question. Isn't that interesting? They've said to everybody that, that Al-Qaeda is a, a threat to uh, Israel, is a threat to Israel, is a threat to Israel. But the only one problem is, is that not one single time out of 20-something years has Israel ever come under attack. Now, let's move on. Keep it in your mind while you're thinking about it. Here, Memorandum of Mutual Understanding of Homeland Security, Michael Shirdoff, who was the former director of the Homeland Security, DHS, February the 8th, 2007, Israeli Ministers of the Public Security, AVI, uh, Dictor, and the American Homeland Security uh, Secretary, Michael Shirdoff, signed a joint memorandum to mutual understanding setting out goals and terms for security and collaborations between Israel and the United States. The, the memorandum called for the corporations on counterterrorism aviation security, including passengers and, and baggage inspections, information exchanges on planning, responses, recovery, damage control during the state 
of emergency and research developments and experimenting in evaluations including protocols and standardizations of experiments and technologies and methods of exposing explosives. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to give you the gist of it. Okay, first of all, this is showing you proof that the United States are no longer American citizens. They are Israeli controlled because this memorandum was to only protect, listen careful, only protect Jewish people of Israel and Jewish citizens of the United States. Nothing more, nothing great. It had nothing to do with protecting other American citizens because they knew the House of Cards was going to come after them. The House of Cards was going to go directly after Israel of their involvements of the downfalls in the United States. So the United States government are, have now set ways of protecting those people that were involved in the fallout of the United States. This is, this is actual facts, ladies and gentlemen. So now you go here. Look at this. Jewish groups grab huge shares of grants, okay, in Homeland Security grants and Jewish nonprofits. These are companies getting nine point, look at this, $9.7 million in federal anti terrorism grants this year, okay, out of total of $10 million allocated in non for profit institutions for the Department of Homeland Security. That's six million dollars less than last year, but thanks to Sharp, cuts this year in the overall pool of money. Now, what this is right here, ladies and gentlemen, is that they're training even in our own United States government is training these people through IT spying securities. Okay, they even funding them, protecting the Jews. Notice they ain't got nothing to do with American citizens. Only. Jews. Everybody is an enemy except for the Jews. You, have you are not starting to get this picture? Remember I told you at the beginning of the video, you have to start thinking. Put your thinking caps on because you're now seeing they're not implementing American people at all at protecting against any kind of terrorist threats. Even though you hear them on the TV, oh, we care about you, we're doing these terror drills and these exercises. But the problem is, ladies and gentlemen, each terror drill that they're doing, they always put out a fake false flag, but yet facts have been proven that these false flags were nothing but more than a drill, but they have literally made the American people believe it's real. Only to take your freedoms away from you and enslaving you to Israel. Because you got to remember, Israel is not being implemented as a terror network. They're the only ones that can break every law in the book. Moving on. Look carefully. Israel and United States are now involved in homeland security business. They're making money. Millions of dollars. Billions of dollars. American homeless people are without homes, but yet these people are all about security and using IT softwares and all this stuff in spying on American citizens and spying on everybody that's outside of the Jewish League and enslaving us and getting us locked into this grid. Guys, this has nothing to do with a friendly state of Israel. This has to do with a very demonic entity, a deity, mind you, that are controlling the Israeli government. And they now are now institutionalizing and, corporate, and, and, and designing a corporate business between the two of them over our lives. In other words, turning this total world government into a one world corporate power controlling our lives. In other words, corporate becomes the new form of government instead of religion and governance at all. Now watch careful. Here we have, they're even training everybody that are only Jewish people. Now keep reading. You go on this website and you go to their homeland. They just tell you everything is, is nothing, nothing to do with American people. Only Jews are interested in homeland security spying on everybody. American people are not involved in this. Look at this crap. SCN, or excuse me, the SCN National Directors Paul. They're given introductions of homeland security and preparedness training centers. But look at this, what I'm talking about. The current content, which is right here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to highlight it, okay? The current contents 
features training from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, the SCN, okay, and then FEMA, CERT, which is the first responders and other private sectors partners in new contents and training materials with, will be added periodically, so please check back frequently for updates, training, and courses. Ladies and gentlemen, you're now witnessing the admittance of Jewish leagues working together with our American first responders inside of United States. Now we now have connected Israel to these events. You now see what I'm getting at? Look carefully. This is by their own admittance. Keep watching. North New Jersey, opinions, preparing for the next one, okay? Bombings, this is an Israeli company, ladies and gentlemen, that you're all looking at, okay? The Boston bombings, okay, marathon Monday were devastating. Reminder that uh, the American homeland remains vulnerable to terrorism. Three people were killed, 176 injured, and judging from the media coverage, millions of the Americans feel uh, aggrieved. The country has been deeply shaken in part because of the attack was such a, a surprise. Now, this is where you see the Jewish government acting as if they're concerned about us and the Americans are concerned about our safety, but the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, is that they all played a role in it. Now, keep watching your screens. This gets really wicked stuff, man. Watch. These are corporate companies out of Israel in spying on the United States. Watch careful. The IDC, International Institutes in the Counterterrorism. How the damn dacity that these people had to use the Boston bombings for their own efforts of first responders in their country. The Boston bombings, okay, the Boston bombing marathons Monday were a devastating reminder that the American homeland remains vulnerable to terrorism. Three people were killed, 176 injured, and judging from media coverage, millions of the American feel aggrieved. The country has been deeply shaken in part because of the attack was such a surprise. See, this is the same article that you all seen in the newspaper uh, earlier. This is actually from the corporate company it came from, the original document, okay? Now... The country has been deeply shaken in part because the attack was such a surprise. It was especially shocking to those who had come to believe that terrorism was no longer a major concern. See, ladies and gentlemen, they re-upped the ante. You remember they let terrorism silence a little bit. They killed bin Laden off, and the terrorism thing is, and then they come back and swift another attack so that it helps revise and the American people and get the uh, the support of the American people for global agendas, bringing martial law into the equation. This is their this is their agenda, ladies and gentlemen. You must pay very close attention to their to these these comments and how they use our tragedies for their gain. And it's just like it's just exactly like how they killed Bin Laden or uh, the uh, the Saddam Hussein and killed off a million Iraqis so that American people could live? No, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't for the American people could live. It was so that Israel could thrive and live and, pro and prosper, but yet destroy every enemy to Israel so that they would become the one world ruler. That's what it was about. Now, keep looking at your screens because we're almost out of time on this segment. Look at this. Protect your I'm sorry, protect your world and be prepared. Here is called the ISRA team. These are documents that have never been seen nor even talked about by anyone on YouTube or any truthers ever seen these documents that I'm showing you. It's the first time you're all looking at them. Emergency management. These are corporate companies. Now notice how they have the world in a net and then they show a Jewish holding the world in its hand as a, as a, as a symbol representing a global domination owned and controlled by Israel. Notice how they use the pyramid of the Illuminati of their syndicate because the Illuminati were created by the Jesuits who were also created and formed by Kabbalah, Kabbalists who formed these secret society organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, this is some wicked stuff and I'm running out of time on part two. So part three is going to have to come out because I still have a whole lot more to share with you all. This is going to blow your mind. Keep watching your screens because part three is on its way. Thank you, guys.